Yeah, it's getting better. It's better than last year. We still have a long way to go, but I think the guys are starting to get the hang of it, that's for sure. Would you say you're on pace for Season 2, Game 4, to be ready <laughs> full speed? <laughs> I would hope so. That's our goal, that's for sure. See uh, Tim Walton practicing at the end and Frederick at safety. Is that just uh, depth stuff, and trying them out different positions? We kind of went into that. Same thing. We're trying to build depth. We had all those injuries last year, and obviously I think the schedule's tougher this year than it was last year, so we're trying to make sure we have enough flexibility into position so we don't have that stall that we had later on in the season. We don't see it in time for practice, but it does seem to be a little bit more physical. Have you cranked up the intensity? Is that maybe based on what you saw last year or what you know you have coming this year? I think it's a combination of both. I mean, again, last year I never gone through the through the uh, conference before. After going through the conference, it's a very, very physical conference. There's certain things that you just got to get done in practice and in the spring where you can be more physical than you are in the fall when you're getting ready to prepare for a season. And they have to taste that. They have to experience that physicality. You can't take it away from them. The first time you put anything in, you're trying to teach guys, and, and you really don't want them to have an owie or, and sit out because it, it costs you as far as the language and the playbook type stuff. But this year now that uh, everybody knows, we're kind of taking the handcuffs off a little bit and letting them get after each other. Do you have a sense that the, the guys are more competitive with that, the, the, the way you're allowing them to practice, and the way they've been through the year now with you once? I think they're, I think they're extremely competitive. And I think when you don't have to think, when you, when you know exactly what to do, you can let that physicality come out of you a little bit. And I think you're seeing it on both sides of the ball. How, um, obviously the, li the lines on both sides were an issue for you guys last year. Uh, how do you feel about where they're at now versus where they were a year ago? Probably, I probably wish they were he where they are now. I wish they were there last year. You know, there's, they're still probably about a year behind where they need to be, but they're bigger, they're stronger, they're feeling themselves, so to speak. The big guys are acting like big guys. The strong guys are acting like strong guys and pushing people around. So uh, we're a lot better than we were in that department, but we're, we're far off from where we need to be. I saw Donnie Foster out today, and uh, Rodney Limited just got to ask, is there anything you can share about them before we? You know, both of them, both of them are, are nicked up. Both of them have an injury. I could tell you what it was. I just don't want it to get out, so everybody, everybody that's playing seemingly. against small things, okay. they, they'll be ready to go for the season for sure. They should be ready to go before spring ball is in. Cool. Shaquille Grossmanner, so you guys signed a Juco defensive tackle. Uh, what does he bring, and is that related at all to Stephen Clark's blood clotting issue? I think, uh, you know, we don't know what's going on with Stephen. It's going to put us really short if he's not back with us. We had to get some insurance, and he's a three-for-three three guy. He can be here a long time, and we think that we can make him bigger, stronger, and uh, obviously teach him more technique and more f fundamentals because he'll have an extra year. Three-for-threes are pretty valuable out of a junior college, so we think he's going to help us a lot. Cool. Along the lines of what Nate asked earlier, uh, are you have you added any new drills I into practice this year? Um, yes. <laughs> will you share what any of them are? We're just we've got a lot more competitive drills once again because we can be more competitive because they know what to do. So if somebody gets an alley, they can sit out. We also made uh, spring ball go over five weeks instead of four so that if you get an injury, something, you pull a hamstring, that you have the ability to still come back and to get a piece of spring ball if you happen to get an alley somewhere on the road.